She's here with what we're saying is five money tips. Maybe we'll throw a bonus in as well. You saw the title of the book, and we move on. All right, now, <laughs> good morning to you. It's good to see you. Very good morning to you guys. Now, what are the basic things that you can help people with at this moment? At this moment, you need to realize that you don't need the right schooling. You don't need to be born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You don't need a man to get your finances in order and take control of your career, your life, and your destiny. How about guys? Do they need a woman? No. Okay, here we go. <laughs> But you already have one. You married your second wife here, first. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> See, All right. you know uh, it. Number one. Number one. I suggest don't open any new big lines of credit before you're thinking about refinancing or mortgaging a house. Are right, people Ooh. doing a lot of refinancing because of yeah. the low rates now? They That's make right. the mistake by doing what? That's right. By getting big purchases because you are looked at as a higher risk because you're opening up too many lines of credit. Also, before you look into refinancing, you should get your credit report mm -hmm. and see any errors that might exist and dispute them because it takes about 30 days to do so. And about 75% of people have errors on their credit report. So you want to get a handle so on that true. early. So you're saying do not go to Home Depot, open a line of credit and buy all new appliances. Right before you're thinking about refinancing, right. bad news. That's a secret that nobody tells you yes. at school. I buying got my car? MBA at the School of Hard Knocks. Yeah. So buying a car, bad stuff. idea just before? Yeah. I think the best time to No, I'm just buy saying for, if you're a mortgage, if you're, if you're going to get a mortgage, don't buy the yeah, car just before. take it easy. Chill mm -hmm. right. for but about 30 gonna, days right before. But if you're going to buy a car. But if you are going to buy a car, our next secret that nobody tells you about is to think about buying at the end of the month. A lot of car dealerships have quota systems, so they're more likely to give you a deal toward the end of the month. Also, if you are buying, I would suggest to buy used cars cheap and run mm -hmm. them into the ground. Mm -hmm. New cars, as you know, depreciate second about... Second you drive off the, the lot. Second you drive off the lot, about 15 to 20%. The advice often is get a two-year-old car. Cars are built differently than get they used to. Get a four-year-old car. A four-year-old car. Because cars depreciate about 70 percent in the first four years mm -hmm. so you're to buy it after that massive depreciation so period. get a four-year-old car and drive it until it drops that's right yeah Sell the run it to the ground on. yes okay um, okay what's this negotiate all your bills what all does that that mean it's my most favorite thing to do once uh -oh. a year with your cable bills your cell phone bills your utility bills your apr i don't know why people don't negotiate their what's APR? apr their credit uh card interest rate so okay. I, everything is negotiable your medical bills we're going to do a game the money game right. tomorrow on negotiating medical bills everything is negotiable what does that mean you call them up and say I'm going to switch over to that's another right. really that's a great so tactic threaten to use. them technically a well you know what <laughs> more often than not they will throw you a bone versus losing you as a customer huh. and studies have shown that consumers end up paying about three hundred and fifty dollars more on their cell phone bills because they just have the wrong package mm -hmm. so you want to negotiate at least so words, i do it once make, a quarter make, but negotiate once make a year. this a reflex instead That's of right. being a, a huge deal in your life just make this a reflex all the it's time it's your money yeah, yeah. might as well idea. fight for oh, it boy. Leading, the leading, cause of divorce. leading cause of divorce this is your anniversary today right? it is so, do i want to know today yes, the answer yes. what is money yes it's not uh cheating it's not cleaning up after somebody else it's money it's the leading cause of divorce studies have shown that happily married couples most of them think that finances are a joint affair a joint affair okay so yes i have an ebook yeah. out a rich bitch guide to love and money you can get it free right now on amazon where we talk about all those issues all right when should you buy the big ticket item the big ticket item is best to be bought uh, in April because a lot of Japanese manufacturers have the end of their fiscal year in March. So they're more oh. willing to get rid of old inventory in April. So you, if, you're, if you can deal with a flat screen TV, that's last year's model, then April is the best What is the to difference between last year's model and this year's model? Not very much. So that's uh -huh. why I suggest thinner, to buy. a little bit thinner maybe? To buy in April. Yeah. 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 Do people know these things? I don't know. No, these no. are the secrets no. that I, I'm here to tell you about. Here's yeah. one thing that we do here time and time again but it's always good to remind people the best time to book a flight. Oh, yes. This is actually interesting. Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Say it again. Tuesday, Tuesday at 3, 3 p.m. So Eastern noon, time. Noon, noon, noon here. Yeah. That's right. You're here in L.A. now. Noon. I don't okay. even know where she I am on this crazy bus tour. <laughs> What's my name? I, I have to remind myself. Yes. Oh, there yes. you go. <laughs> so yes. at noon at 3 p.m., and why is that? Most sales go out around that time, and okay. also tr internet traffic is quite low, so you're not competing with a ton of folks to get those deals. Also, it's counterintuitive, but don't book too far in advance because actually airlines aren't set up to give you discounts too far in advance. See, it is counterintuitive. I believe that. Yes. I believe that fully. Yeah. I always wait kind of towards the last minute and get a better deal. Yeah. But 40, you run the risk of perhaps not. 
That's true, but I think I say 45 days for domestic flights, 60 days for international flights are great sweet spot okay. uh, because if the fare goes down and you bought beyond that window, then you have to pay that hefty change fee and that negates any discount that mm. you might have. Tomorrow, received. we're setting up yeah. a thing. Yeah, what here are we tomorrow. doing? Tell us. I'm really excited about uh, this. Uh, we're going to have a couple of teams and we're vying for information who's going to win. And this on, is getting really competitive and one around of, here. One team member will be, do you know who it is? I do. Yeah. Is this a tease or what are we doing here? It's are we going to share? Dr. Oz. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. and we'll get into medical billing with Dr. Oz as well. Yes, so because they're be negotiable as well. All right. Medical uh, the book is yeah. available now on Amazon.com. Nicole will be back tomorrow, as we say, with the money game with Dr. Oz with us playing the game as well. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, say hello to Lisa in the newsroom. Lisa.